Hello, everyone. My name is Jamila Perez. I am currently the graduate coordinator for the Office of Commuter Life here at Montclair State University. And today we will be going over all things commuter life at Montclair. So first things first, we're going to talk about parking. If you are driving to campus, we recommend that you purchase a parking permit. Um, you can either get it for the for the first semester, so for the fall semester, or for the spring semester. So per semester, it costs about $130. And for the entire year, academic year, it costs $260. So we recommend this if you are coming to campus for more than three days out of the week, you will end up saving more money than, let's say, you just decide to just, oh, I'm just going to pay for it by day. You end up spending more money if you're here for more than three days. So if you decide that you're going to be here for less than three days, just two, one or two days, um, and you decide that the, the parking permit is not convenient for you, doesn't make sense for you to get it. What you can do is download the pay by phone app, use the code 4040, and it costs $1 per hour to park um, in the different parking locations. So yes, if you're on campus for eight hours, you'll pay $8. This is convenient if you're gonna be here for two days out of the week. So that's the first thing. Um, so the different parking spaces where you can park are all highlighted in the color yellow. The most popular places where students park are Car Park Dam. This, this parking deck usually gets filled at about 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, students are literally rushing and it just takes up so much time if you get here past 8 a.m. in hopes of like getting a parking and then you go all the way up to the eighth floor and then all the way down and then you realize that you have to park in lot 60 because there's no spots so we recommend that you get here extra early if you want to park there and make it to class on time um this is just like the most popular because it's at the center of campus it's close you just take the stairs up and then you're literally right on campus so everyone kind of wants to park there but we have a ton of other parking spaces such as parking lots such as 24, 25, 22. Um, and one of our biggest um, parking lots is lot 60. It's located right when you enter campus through the backside on Clove Road. Um, and usually this doesn't get filled up until about 3 p.m. So regardless of whenever you get to campus, you're, you're always going to find parking. It's just a matter of where you're going to park. So even though car park gets filled by 8 a.m., by 3 p.m., it's already like loosening up because the morning students that have left morning classes are leaving and then the afternoon students are coming in. So you will always find parking, but we always recommend students to park in Law 60 just because it's guaranteed that they're going to find parking there and it's going to be quick, efficient. They take the shuttle to the center of campus and yeah, it saves them so much more time and it's just good for time management. So this is what Lot 60 looks like. This, like I said, doesn't get filled until about 3 p.m. And even then, like students start to leave, like the morning students start to leave campus and then the afternoon students and the evening students start to come in. So you'll start to get like, once you get into campus, you'll realize the flow of it, um, especially with um, car park. So, yes. So we do have shuttles that take students um, to and from the different buildings on campus, the main one being University Hall, it's right at the center of campus. So for example, if we go back to lot 60, the shuttles will usually pick students up right here. Um, and then from there, they take on this route and they go into campus this way. They make a stop right here, which is, this is the transit, which we'll get more into it a little bit um, as the presentation goes on, but this is where the train one of the train stations is. So what will happen is that the shuttle picks up the, the drivers first right here from lot 60. Then it drives into um, right here through this way and picks up the students that take the train. And from there, they drive into campus. They take their own route, which saves more time. Um, there's like little ends, like hidden roads that they take and then it leads them straight into campus. This saves time. Um, and yeah, and, and avoids traffic. Um, so overall, like even if you park in lot 60, you're not gonna have to walk across campus because there are shuttles. They run about every 10 to 15 minutes, especially like during common hours, as one shuttle leaves, the other one comes. So you're never really waiting for more than 10 minutes for a shuttle. Um, there are about 12 shuttle stops on campus. So the main one being University Hall, there's some by the dorms. 
Um, and then there's definitely some, um, there's one in Montclair Heights, which is a train station and one at Montclair State University train station. Um, so like I mentioned before, the shuttle will pick the students up and bring them to the center of campus. Um, the shuttles are completely free. They're included in your tuition. You don't have to pay for them to get on them and get a ride. So if you're using New Jersey Transit, um, it is recommended that you buy a monthly pass. And for being a student, you do receive 25% 25, 25 off using the NJ Quick Tick program. Um, and they can be purchased um, in the previous, on the 19th of the previous month up until the 10th of the current month. So for example, if school starts in September and I need a park and I need a, a monthly pass for September, I can start purchasing it by August 19th. And the last day for me to purchase it for September would be on September 10th. And it would be valid for that month, which is very convenient. You receive 25% off. And yeah, so I just want to quickly mention the trains again. So the, the main train stations are Montclair Heights and Montclair State University. Montclair State University one is right here, like right near lot 60. I mentioned before that the shuttle literally picks you up and then stops to pick up the other students. And then we also have um, the Montclair Heights one, which is located right outside of campus. And then the shuttle will pick you up and take you into campus and leave you wherever you like the different stops. So the, the shuttles that pick up from Montclair Heights usually is an all campus loop. So it will stop at all the different shuttle stops. Whereas the one from lot 60 is just directly for um, University Hall. It will not go anywhere else but University Hall. So, yes. Next, we have our commuter pit stop maps. These are very convenient. For a while you're here, we want you to stay on campus. We believe that the students that stay on campus are more likely to get involved, more likely to get more connections on campus, um, and overall just have a better experience, the higher GPA. So we have identified um, different spots where they can hang out on campus, whether it be the quad, where it's outside, it's more of a social um, gathering. Um, a lot of clubs and organizations, especially Greek organizations are usually outside, hanging out, strolling, um, and just being social. And then we also have the student center, the library, just literally a bunch of different quiet spaces. We also identified where you can find vending machines, where you can eat, where there's microwaves and where there's couches so that you always have a place to go when you're on campus. So as I said before, we are here for you, especially for commuter students, okay? That is what our whole entire office is about. It's about serving commuter students. So we put on commuter happy hours, which are events, there's no alcohol, but there are events intended to be on the go. So for example, some of the events that we have had are um, our Feeling Lucky event, which just recently took place where students got to come make charm bracelets. There was, it was this event all about luck. We got to eat cereal, paint, um, hang out with friends. Um, and the good thing is that they get to leave whenever. They, they're not forced to stay. Um, we've also had walking tacos, which they just come pick up literally a bag of like nachos and fill it with like meat and stuff, like taco stuff. And they just got to eat it on the way to class. We've also had cereal bars, which same concept, little cereal bowls, put the milk and just eat it as you go to class. We also put on Commuter Life Appreciation Week, which is the most fun week <laughs> of the entire year, all catered to commuter students. We put on events. Last semester, um, we had a Marvel theme event. We had spa day. We had bagels. Um, and overall, just a great time. We had outdoor giant games, a summer goodbye party, um, which it's basically what it sounds like. We just got a bunch of activities for students to do outside and they got to hang out. So the office is designed for it to be a one-stop shop, right? So whatever it is that you may need, whether it be directions, whether it be, hey, how can I get involved? Hey, how can I get a job? Hey, I don't know where this is. It's literally a one-stop shop. You come, we give you information, and then you go on about your day. Um, we understand that commuters are usually busy and they usually have a lot of things going on. So we just want to do things as convenient as possible for them, um, which usually entails a lot of on-the-go things, which again, this goes hand-in-hand -hand with the commuter pit stop map, with the on-the-go events. Um, 
and yeah, it just it's just that literally. So we're here to help, right? We want y'all to get involved. We want you to have the best experience that you possibly can as an undergrad. My college experience didn't really, wasn't my own until I started to get involved. So I became Greek. Um, I'm a part of Chi Epsilon Sigma National Alliance Sorority Incorporated. And um, until I became Greek, until I became a mentor for the um, University College Fellows Program, it wasn't until then that I made college my own and was like, okay, like I'm, I have my own experience. Like I have made lifelong friends. It wasn't until I got involved. So we really urge you all to get involved. We have so many different clubs, organizations, on-campus job. I literally was involved in so much. I worked as a resident, as a um, service assistant for residence life. I worked for, um, uh, for university college. I was involved in LASO. I'm Greek. Um, LASO is a Latin organization. I was involved with Ladies First, which is um, an organization intended for black and brown women to talk about sociopolitical and like just social issues going on and even about like just things that us as women go through and like yeah so it's all about getting involved meeting people connecting with people and so we also if you need information on finding off-campus housing or even meal plans I, on my first day, I did not eat because I didn't know where to eat on campus. Don't be like me. Do not be like me. You can eat as a commuter student anywhere on campus. We strongly urge you to get a meal plan um, because it's money allocated directly for food. So you know that once you come to campus, you will get to eat food. Um, if you decide not to get a meal plan, um, you can still eat on campus using, using cash or credit at any of the dining um, halls, whether it be Sam or Freeman, or even at the Student Center, Panera, anywhere where there's food, Blanton, you can eat, okay, do not starve. And then also on, on campus jobs, um, we can help you find those as well. So like I mentioned before, we have over 40 Greek organizations on campus, whether it be multicultural, MPC, and PhD. Um, and we also have the local council. So UGC is the Latin and multicultural organizations. NPC is the predominantly white um, fr um, fraternities and sororities. And we have NPHC, which is historically Black fraternities and sororities, and then we also have the local council. Although these organizations have like a specific, um, like for example, um, although my organization is Latin, is not Latin exclusive. So you are allowed to join any of which you find your home to be, whether it be black, Hispanic, whatever the case may be. Um, so we also have over a hundred clubs and organizations. We have, like I said, Lasso, Mufasa, um, players, so many different organizations on campus. And we also have the campus recreation, which is the gym. It is included in your tuition, so please take advantage of it, even if you just go in there to play video games or to go on their Broadway trips or to go hiking with them. And we also have intramural sports and the LGBTQ Center, all of which you can also get employment and work there. So, yes. And this, our commuter assistance mentorship program is our prize possession. Um, basically what it is, is a program intended to help guide first year students um, transition into college and just get support and help um, during their first year. So if they literally have their questions answered, we give them their first friend on college so that they will not feel lost or lonely. These are students that are going to be supported um, and usually their GPAs are higher um, because they get to learn about college, they get to be involved. And this is kind of like the first step into that. So we're very proud of this um, mentorship program and we just build overall community with each other um, and just a space where they make friends, not just with the mentors, but also with each other. So it's overall a great opportunity. And if you're considering, I will have a QR code at the end of the presentation. So again, connect with us. If you have any questions, we have monthly community news that goes out every month. But we also have our social media, um, which is at MSU Communities, both Instagram and Twitter. Um, you can also visit our office located in the Student Center in the first floor um, at the Center of Student Involvement, room 104. Again, that's Student Center, first floor. 
Um, and you can also email us at um, msucommunes at gmail dot, at, sorry, at msucommunes at montclair.edu. So connect with us. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us or to come visit us. So here we are. This is the QR code if you are interested in scanning it. Um, and yeah, thank you all so much for your time um, and for listening to this presentation. Um, I look forward to meeting you all in person and hopefully I get to see you at one of our events. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.